what's going on youtube it's your girl kid and i'm back with another video and in today's video i will be showing you guys the best methods on how to get max badges and how to get 99 overall in nba 2k 21 next gen this video is literally going to show you guys how to get every badge in each badge category i have all of the methods right here in this video stay tuned in this year's 2k they added a pretty cool thing called warehouse challenges now with these warehouse challenges they give you double badge progression and double my points if you win them and the challenges are not that hard at all it's just you with a team of cpu nba players versus another team of cpu nba players in order to do these warehouse challenges you have to find the npcs that are located around the city don't know what an NPC is or what they are NPC stands for non playable characters so all you have to do is find these NPCs they're all around the city they're just walking around and stuff like that all you want to do is walk up to one and they're gonna have an orange exclamation mark above their head you can also keep track of all of your warehouse challenges in your 2k journal now once you have found your npc all you want to do is locate whichever warehouse you have to go to to do the challenge and you all you want to do is pull up the map and pinpoint it and then just follow the directions to go to the warehouse now with these npc warehouse challenges you can do a total of four challenges at a time so you can literally walk around the city and rack up on meeting different npcs so you can get four knocked out at the same time all right so now let's get into these methods the first method we're going to go over is the shooting method and it's fairly easy because you're going up against the ai all you really have to do is do a pass fake or a jab step and the ai will back up off you and leave you wide open for the shot or you can run around and take phase from the three point like i do and don't be too alarmed because you're gonna miss you're gonna mess up that's all okay the key is to win in the game so you get the double bash progression and the double my points and to be honest it is kind of a kind of a way to try to finesse the system like if you lose these warehouse challenges games you get the opportunity to play them again but keep in mind if you do lose these games you don't get the double bash progression or the double my points Next, let's talk about the defensive method. Pretty much all you want to do is make sure you're going for any steals or blocks. And you always want to make sure you're bumping up against your defender as much as possible. And another thing that you guys can do is learn how to bait your opponent. You see how I baited him into shooting that right there? I act like I'm going to leave him wide open, but I run back just in time so I can get a good shot contest. And rebounds count for defensive badges as well. So you want to make sure you're going for all the boards that you possibly can. But that's pretty much all you want to do for the defensive method. Make sure you're making a whole bunch of bodily contact and try your best to bait your defenders to shooting horrible shots so you can get good shot contests every time. All right, so now let's talk about this playmaking method. The good thing about this is it pretty much works just how it does with Court Conqueror if you played any of the other previous 2Ks. Once you reach to a total of eight points, then the CPUs are going to start to double team you every time. So all you have to do is draw the double team and then pass the ball to the open man and get the easy assist every single time. Another thing that you can do is call for the pick and roll. And then once your teammate rolls, just throw him a lob.
Now, lastly, we have the finishing badge method. Now, I do apologize because I don't have that many finishing clips, but this was a brand new build. This build was only like a 68 overall at the time. But what you want to do is if you have contact dunks already unlocked, just go for contact dunks as much as possible and dunk as many times as you can on a fast break. And you can do the pick and roll, but of course, you're going to be the person rolling towards the basket and you want to double tap triangle so your teammate can throw you the lob. That's all you want to do for the finishing badge method. So now let's switch it to the my career side of things. Now you can grind your badges within my career. You can do the exact same methods that I showed you guys early on in the video that you were doing in the with the warehouse challenges in my career to get your badges. But I do suggest using my career to go ahead and get your overall all the way up to 99 overall. It's the easiest way. All you have to do is play on 12 minute quarters and put it on Hall of Fame difficulty. And once you get your settings together, all you really want to do is run the pick and roll. Now it works better if you are on a team like the Lakers or the Bucks, whatever team that you're on, you want to make sure you have somebody who's athletic enough to catch a lot of lobs. So as you can see, as for me, I'm on the Bucks, so I got Giannis and I could just throw lobs to him all day. So the key to doing this is just throwing as many lobs and getting as many assists as you possibly can just so you can maximize the amount of my points that you get at the end of your my career game. You can also throw some flashy passes and get you some flashy pass assists because that gives you extra my points as well. And of course, you just really want to make sure that overall that you're playing pretty well in your my career games because you still want to make sure that you can get at least an A- minus or an A- plus at the end. For your teammate grade so you can really maximize on the amount of my points that you get in the end because the higher your teammate grade the more my points that you get in the end so you still want to make sure that you're playing defense and getting good stops and stuff like that and another way that you guys can get max badges or get your overall all the way up is playing some pickup games at the jordan rick center now this is kind of like my career in a way, but it's a lot more fun. It's way better than my career. Now, if you don't have a group of friends, you know, you can hook up with some randoms and play some games at the rec center. But if you do have a group of friends, that's even better because it'll be a lot more fun. And you'll be able to rank up and get your badges and stuff a lot faster. And at the same time, you can get you some rep. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell.